Hello and welcome back to Saudi Arabia. My voice is a little bit worse, but I'm slowly recovering from my cold. And behind me is the holy city of Mecca and you can see the clock tower, the third tallest building in the world, which used to be the second before the Shanghai Tower, just in the distance there. It's absolutely incredible to see it with my own eyes. And today we're gonna to be hiking up to an excellent viewpoint on the Wadi in the valley, about three hours drive outside of Jeddah. So after a few hours drive up the road behind me here, which you might be able to see when I lower my camera just there, long and winding, we're now at the top of this valley, which you can see. And there's actually a lot of locals and tourist pilgrims that are here having their lunch at these viewpoints. Just had some falafel and I'm gonna be continuing on the road and working our way up to the final viewpoint where we'll be spending sunset. So we've now arrived at the place where we're gonna start our hike. We've just parked two guys behind me who are joining me on this trip. And super quiet around here. First time I've sort of seen the uh, rural outdoors of Saudi Arabia. You can see just up there is where we'll get the viewpoint. And as you can see, golden hour, not too far away now with some sunlight. It's beautiful, green and lush, fertile land here. I forgot to mention that this is the Gutra, that's what they refer to the headscarves as, the white ones anyway. The red ones have a different name. And if you're in the desert, to cover your face from the sand, this is the practice, of course. But luckily, I won't have to do that here as I'm not in the desert of the Arabian Peninsula. I'm in fact in the Hejaz coastal mountains, or well, not far from the coast. And wow, look at this landscape just unfolding now. Beautiful. The fact that you have cactus with rocks in this kind of rough looking terrain, and then also the mix of green and mountains. It's a blend that I haven't seen in too many places before. In fact, this may be the first time I've seen this sort of landscape. Nearly at the top after walking along this rocky pathway for the last 20 minutes or so. And the viewpoint just on the other side where I'll be able to see the Mecca Tower, hopefully in the distance, and the surrounding valleys and views. And I see the clock tower right straight. Really? Straight ahead. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Right there? So here we are right at the top now. Take a look at the views behind me. I can see the tower of Mecca, the closest I'll ever get to Mecca as a non-Muslim. I can see it with my own eyes in the distance. Take a look at this overlay where I'm trying to point it out with my finger and hopefully you can see it in the very distance there. And it's just kind of a little bit foggy, but wow, from here with my own eyes, it's very clear and shows just how immense that clock tower is.
opening up just a little bit further to another viewpoint just as I follow along the side of the rocky cliff face here you can see the depths of the valley below don't want to get too close to the edge the rock has this red tinge to it which becomes even brighter on the sunlight you can see down there just how steep it is crazy although this is a pretty good place to take a seat and soak it all in look at that jagged rock formations with that dark colour and the distant landscape sun setting just there The sun is just disappearing. I don't know if you can see it. I have to press the uh, focus on the camera. Let me get the sun there. There you go, you can see it's just disappearing at the end there. It's gonna get a bit darker. I'm gonna make our way back once it's gone. This has been a lot of fun. And despite the uh, slight difficulties in getting here because of my, my cold and my headache, walking up wasn't easy, but it was totally worth it and I'm so glad. And I highly recommend this as a little trip from Jeddah. If you can get a car, you can hire one or you can have someone take you here. I'll find out the location of this exact place and I'll leave it in the link for the beginning of the hike in the video description. So it'll be on Google Maps or something if you want to copy this because it's amazing and coming here for sunset. As you can see, it's been incredible. I'm now here in the town of Taif, which is a little bit of a drive from where we were earlier. Salam alaikum. <laughs> they love it. Loving the camera. <laughs> British. UK. Britanni. Britanni. <laughs> MashaAllah. 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 I miss you. I miss you. Nice, nice to meet you. Uh, Brittany. Whoa. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, look at the crowd that has emerged. Hello. Hello, my friend. They said, I'm only the second foreigner they've ever seen here in Taif, which is crazy. Literally bring my camera out, and within minutes, I'm surrounded by kids. Call to prayer just then. Hi. Hi. I love you. America. What are you selling? You're selling socks. Socks. You're selling them. Nice. Ten real. Ten real a sock pair. That's about two pounds for anybody who needs to know the exchange rate for a pair of socks here. My voice is really going. Uh, by the way, so sorry about that. Salam alaikum. Oh yeah, it's cooking the meat with onion. Getting the full tour inside the kitchen we're gonna eat at. This restaurant. Whoa, that's insane. Oh, 
showing us the rice. I can smell the saffron. Oh, yes. Very good, very good. Shukran. So we've got the platter of meat to share and some bread, rice underneath and onions and lemon to squeeze on top and garnish and also different dips coming with the food as well. Not so vegetarian friendly but if you like meat then definitely it's going to be up your street. Having left TAFE and finished our dinner, we're now making our way back to Jeddah and we just stopped on the roadside because there's a lot going on here and we've got some Arabic coffee just there at this store owned by this guy here. He's super friendly. <laughs> um, and just on this side here, where you'll be interested to see, look at all these fruit stalls. It goes on for really such a long way. Vegetables as well and some flowers. Take a look. So we have mint, spearmint, different types of things that go in the tea here, just in this little place by the road. Here are the teacups. The large pots. Some of them have coffee in. Some of them have milk tea in as well. It's so random how sweet corn is just outside as well. <laughs> I don't know what sweet corn has to do with anything. Shukran, shukran. My departing gift for buying a coffee from here. Nah, Hadir. Just you got on the top. Your gift. Oh, and they've got me some more flowers as well. This is Saudi Arabian hospitality for you. 